Yo, y'all, it's your boy King Ed the Great coming at y'all with another video. After a three day hiatus, I'm finally back. So, let's get on to it. And I want to talk about Matt Hardy and how Matt Hardy not only deserves more respect in the wrestling business, but also he's a he's revolutionized the wrestling business. Let me explain to you guys how. Number one, we got to give Matt Hardy credit for being able to coexist within the times. Because keep in mind, when the Hardy Boys came out in 1999-2000, everybody looked at Jeff Hardy as a star. Everybody looked at Lita as a star. Everybody seen Matt Hardy as the third wheel. So, due to Jeff Hardy's daredevil stunts, he didn't really have any mic skills. So, all the crazy stuff he was doing, that compensated for it. Then you had Lita, who was very, you know, one of the finest women in the women's division, plus very athletic. And she brought the women demographic to the Hardy Boys brand. And Matt Hardy, he was basically the guy on the side, so to speak. That's what a lot of people seen it as. But look, peep this out. When the brand split stop started, look at what happened. He reinvented himself with Mattitude. Then he got fired. Then he came back with the Matt Hardy Never Died thing when he had that situation go on with Edge. So then, after that, he goes through personal demons like everybody else does. But then he comes back in Impact. And he reinvents himself again with the money-making map gimmick. Now, this right here was the gimmick right here that took Matt Hardy into a new millennium. The broken Matt gimmick. Everybody wrote this gimmick off. I admit, I wrote it off too. I thought it was probably the stupidest thing TNA ever did. But as the story went on, you start seeing the vignettes. You start seeing the hilarious storyline progressing. You start seeing Matt Hardy coming up with the catchphrase, delete, delete, delete. Then you had the Hardy compound match, which was straight. It was straight chaos. These dudes was going there. You could tell they was having fun doing that. So, with those matches, they they took the theater, the theater approach. Kind of like Lucha Underground, but they took the theater approach with those matches. And look how they reinvented the business. Now you see the WWE, even though they treated Matt Hardy like trash for the past three years, they they copy his his style. Look at the Undertaker and AJ Styles match from the other day. Then look at John Cena and Bray Wyatt. All those was basically theater style matches that TNA and Matt Hardy were doing. You could say Lucha Underground as well. I'm not gonna sit there and, and you know dismiss them, but the Hardys popularized it. So this goes to show you right there, even now, Matt Hardy was one of the most highest demand free agents in the industry. And he's with A AEW now. So this goes to show you right there, he could have been Marty Jannetty status. Look what happened, what happened to Marty Jannetty after the Rockers broke up. He went on a downward spiral. He went on a downward spiral. And was never forgot. And Shawn Michaels, he evolved into a Hall of Fame career. Matt Hardy didn't let that happen. Matt Hardy kept on reinventing himself. Even though his ring work isn't as great as it was. What he understands is the theater of sports entertainment. He understands that you have to entertain the fans. And that's what he does real well. You go to any show, you see the elite shirts selling like hotcakes. It started out as a silly gimmick, and now it transitioned into something revolutionary. And then you see the WWE taking note, and now they doing those same style of matches. So, let's put respect to Matt Hardy's name. This is Off The Cuff Radio, King Ed the Great. Subscribe and hit the like button. Holla at your boy.